So I'm trying to run Outlook and this error comes up. Outlook cannot log on. Verify you're connected to the network and are using the proper server and mailbox name. The Microsoft Exchange information service in your profile is missing required information. So at least we can isolate the problem to the Microsoft Exchange account. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now, Once I click on OK, another error comes up. Cannot start Microsoft Outlook. Cannot open the Outlook window. OK, just click on OK and get rid of all that. Now go to Control Panel. Select small icons from the View by drop-down and locate Mail. Now in this case is Outlook 2016. Select it. This window will come up. Now we have two options. We can delete and recreate the email account which is much easier or we can delete and recreate the profile. Now by deleting the email account you can easily recreate it and get all your emails back. By deleting the profile if you have multiple accounts in Outlook all of the mailbox are going to be deleted. If you have a pop account you might lose all the emails there. So let's start with the first. Let's delete the email account. So click uh, on the email accounts, the email account button. You'll be prompted with the same warning. Click on OK. And now here locate the Microsoft Exchange account which is the one being uh, giving us problem and remove. Click yes. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and open Outlook and see if it works. It should work. Perfect. It's working fine. Now all we need to do is just click on File, Add Account, and then enter the uh, Microsoft Exchange information and click on Next. You should get all the three check marks. That means it's working fine. Click Finish and you need to restart Outlook. So close and restart Outlook. Now say this doesn't work. Worst case scenario, you need to delete the profile. So go back to Control Panel. Again click on Mail and under Profiles click on Show Profiles. Here we have the Outlook profile selected and click Remove and Yes to the warning. Remember by clicking on Yes all the email accounts, if you have multiple email accounts, will be deleted. Make sure to read carefully and backup if necessary. Once done, again click on Add and then add a new profile. You can even name it exactly the same, Outlook. OK and enter your exchange account information. Once done, click on Next and you should have all three check marks. Perfect. Now click on Finish apply and OK. Now once you start Outlook it should start with the uh, Exchange account already added to Outlook. Now remember if you had multiple email accounts you should click on File, Add Account and add each individual account. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.